Hello, this is a 1948 Seaberg 148 ML, uh, sometimes known as a trash can. Uh, it's aluminum cabinet. Uh, it's original cabinet and the finish is original as well. Uh, it's got the um, blonde type um, cabinet there. Uh, the m and l are really uh, signifies that it's uh, <clears throat> has a remote amplifier. So you could hook up remote speakers to it. I actually have a original restored teardrop speaker, which I'll show you later on. Um, it also has the remote selection receiver. So you could hook up wired or wireless wall boxes. And the wireless wall box is actually pretty cool because you just plug it into an outlet. And what it does is it'll send a, a pulse over the electric line from the wall box to the jukebox and depending on what pulse that is, it knows what selection uh, you played from the wall box. Really cool technology for 1948. Um, it's 20 selection, one side of 78 RPM. And as you can see here, five plays for a quarter, two for a dime, and one for a nickel. It does have the coin mech and that works as well. This tells you uh, the record playing or the last record that was played. And this is your credit counter. It does have a front door animation in it. And you can see how it changes color. The other neat thing about this jukebox is these title strip holders. They're special, uh, they have a special des um, design to them. So they magnify the letters underneath the title strip, which is under the title strip holder, which is pretty cool. Um, it's actually pretty easy to change the title, title strips. And you can see under here is the color wheel. Let's see if we can lift this up. And the change of title strips is pretty easy on this. You lift up this lever here, and this chrome piece comes off. And the title strip holders slide out with the title strips, and you just slide the new ones in. That's it, it locks right back in. So that's what the inside looks like. Under here are the 20 records. 20 trays and how this works is the turntable when you make a selection the turntable rises up picks up the record and it meets the, the tone arm over here this is a reset knob so you could reset the play meter counter a uh, play meter would just allow the operator to know which records were the most popular I put a a new needle in a cartridge recently and I put new, the three new red plastics on the top recently. I got them from Victory Glass. I got this jukebox about 25 years ago. Back then I put the color, new color sheet here and I put the four new main plastics on about 25 years ago and the new mirror set. Also a few weeks ago I put the new, like I said, the new color sheet down here and what else did I do? I took out the selection keypad. That's just two screws here, two screws here, and three screws on the bottom. And then you unscrew the selection playing indicator cable. Just loosen this up here. Uh, where is it? Down over here. You just loose it up, take it off, and that's it. The coin chute is not connected. It just slides over a lip. And then you can take out the whole keypad. And I had to do some adjustments and some cleaning on that. Because this sat for about five years without being played before I actually got it back into the house. Um... I also, I think I got some parts from Jukebox USA.
for this as well in the past. Um, what else did I do recently? Oh, the light bulbs in, in here were number 81 bulbs. And I replaced them with number 63 bulbs, miniature bulbs. Um, because they, they use a, they, they take, they generate about half the amount of heat as 81 bulbs. And all that heat in here would just cause these to warp over time. Um, even though it does have a pretty good system of, it's got like slots in the back over here to allow the heat to escape. But then the heat ends up in the dome, which is not good either. So I replaced it with number 63 bulbs. And like I said, it uses about half the, generates about half the amount of heat. I also put a uh, recently LED bulb up here because incandescence would just generate way too much heat here and all the heat would, would make these plastics warp on top. And I put an LED bulb down over here. Uh, so there's very little heat generation for that color sheet as well. Um, let me see about opening the door here. Anyway, I was going to show you the coin mech, but the coin mech is complete. And that is in there and it works fine. Um, Jukebox gets played about, oh, maybe one or two hours a month. On our holidays, it's on for a few hours at a time. So it's not like it uses a lot. It gets used a lot, so it doesn't generate a lot of heat from these bulbs. I was going to use LED bulbs instead of the number 63, but the LED bulbs are like $3 a piece. And this has like 25 bulbs in it. And it's, you know, $75 is too much to spend on light bulbs. Um, you know, if it was going to be on all the time, then I would probably go for the LED bulbs. But the 63s, like I said, they cut the heat down in half. They're not as bright as 81s, but to me it looks pretty darn good anyway, even with 63 bulbs. Maybe this winter I'll replace the grill cloth in the back there with this new gold one I, I bought. Either gold or silver I'll put in. I got the gold one. The other thing too is since it sat for the past five years before I, I got a chance to bring it back in and and, um, and start to look at it. Uh, the mechanism, the grease on the mechanism hardened up some, so it was, you know, slow and it wouldn't work quite right. So I used some very light machine oil um, on all the pivot points, and even where it's supposed to put, where you're supposed to put grease, I used the light machine oil as well just to get it all loosened up, and it's been working fine. Uh, it's probably played a couple hundred times already uh, without any issues since I did the necessary adjustments and repairs to it. Um, the amp and receiver have never been rebuilt, so it's, what, over 70 years old with the original caps and resistors. Uh, since it has not been rebuilt, it actually sounds pretty darn good, considering that. But with any of these jukeboxes, I don't leave them plugged in if I'm not, you know, if I'm not home, I'm not around. Because uh, you never know with the old caps in there. A couple of other things I'll, I'll show you when I open up the back door, uh, some other adjustments I made to it.